Yo everyone, welcome back to another Terraria video. Today we are seeing which mount is the best mount to use for mining, which one mines the fastest, however you want to phrase it. But since there's only you know a little handful of mounts as we can see here, there may be some mounts that are hidden in mods that I don't know of, but this is all I can find. Since there's a little amount though, you know we got a couple extra things here that are uh mount like I don't know. We got a we got a we got a jackhammer and we got a drill that drags you around, so you know close enough. But since we only have a handful of things, I may or may not add in a little uh, Q&A that I was going to do for the 200k special at the end of this. Uh, slowly, you know, get through all the questions that people ask me. Put it at the end of this video. I'm rocking Havel's armor set here from the Juice mod. And Havel, if you don't know, is a Dark Souls character. Very cool. I feel like instead of rocking the Mushroom vanity all the time, you know, I should just rock some other vanities that look cool here and there. So we might be doing that in the future. But yeah, now that that's out of the way, let us get to the test. We're going to start with these two here and, uh, you know, sort of work our way to the better mounts these ones uh, the dragon drill is actually pretty good but you know we got it from lowest to best i would assume is the best uh mining mount but yeah let's start with this one here now you may be like gamers the enigma mod also adds in drills that are sort of mount like i know but there is a problem with those drills ever since tmod loader updated there's been a problem with them and they don't work how they're supposed to uh, i was told directly by the developer of the enigma mod that the drills don't work currently so uh you know that's why i don't have them but let's test out the jackhammer here as we can see 50 damage it does damage nice it just says damage it doesn't say melee it doesn't say range it's just 50 damage it has a 175 percent pickaxe power and you can destroy tiles by jumping on them while pressing down now i kind of wish that this was a mount so you know you can hit your you know your mount button you get in boom but you know i guess it isn't it's all good we just press down uh let me take my wings off we press down and then we go like this beautiful i know it's not anything crazy but you know it's still it's still pretty good it can only break oh no look, we got three blocks at a time okay if you position it right you can get three blocks maybe you can even get four blocks but as we can see it only mines down and uh it it's it's fairly slow but you know a for effort is still a cool item next up we got the dragon drill now this thing is crazy it's from the shadows of abaddon mod and uh as you can see here drill your way forward with immense force 300 percent pickaxe power right click to change modes the last of his kind should not be used in space the last of his kind hold up watch this I got two of them. So who's lying there? All right. So dragon drills, it has two modes here. If we right click, we got the just flying mode right here where we could just literally fly around. See, this is why I'm considering it a mount is because it can do stuff like this. And then we have the form where you turn into a straight up just drill and you just start bulldoze, bulldozing through everything. Look at this. Oh my God. This, this is amazing. This is why I consider this thing a mount. But yeah, there was the dragon drill. Now let's get to the actual mounts here. Starting with these two right here, the bulldozer mod. Bulldozer reborn to be exact, which adds in bulldozers. Now let me get a nice flat surface here that I can break blocks on. Honestly, down here might do perfectly. Here we go. We got the regular bulldozer. Now there's two versions. There's this one, which is the weaker one. And then we got this one right here, the super one. Super dig dug dog. Is that what they're both called? Dig dug dog? Dig dug dog. And uh, let's see just how powerful this thing is is oh it actually broke that hard more hard mode thorium or very interesting i didn't even think it was gonna do that oh watch out for the boulder you don't want the bulldozer to get hit by the boulder but there you go that was the regular one let's go ahead let's check out the better one which should be a little bit faster and should be a little bit stronger uh which i assume means we can mine stronger ores maybe we will do an ore test you know see how strong of ores we can mine but look at this this one's got a little glow around it okay Oh, a lot faster. You can definitely feel the quickness, but obviously it's not going to be the quickest here. We got a lot quicker mounts to check out, but this thing, these, both of these, they're actually not too bad. All right, next up, we got one that everyone is familiar with. Now, honestly, this is a mount that I've only gotten like once or twice ever in actual playthroughs because, you know, by the time I reach the end of the playthrough, you kind of just don't really need this thing. It can be very useful, especially if you're a builder and like to clear out giant areas to build, but we have the drill containment unit, uh, a very cool looking mount, and let's put it to the test. You know, most of you know how this works already but look at this thing this is amazing it's just so cool i love the idea of this hopefully it, i don't know there's more mounts in the future in like 1.4 that break blocks 
maybe like a, a pre hard mode version you know that helps clear out areas obviously won't be as strong as this but you know it's always nice to clear out areas with mounts you can just use bombs too in dynamite i guess that works but there's something about this that feels so nice and fluid it's very satisfying too i don't think blowing things up with bombs is as satisfying as this next up we have the onyx excavator here from the calamity mod it summons a drill to drill through the world so you can destroy all the neat world generation with complete disregard for all the creatures that inhabit these lands i am sure the epa and PETA would like to have a word with you afterwards yes sir let's get right to it this thing looks cool you can barely see me but it's still a very very cool mount especially in terms of looks but let's see it in action i don't remember how you use this thing oh there you go you need an open hand maybe you don't even need an open hand maybe you could just like left click uh we can't break this what is this, this is arc tesla or is this hula bloom i'm pretty sure it's arc tesla or as we can see it does pretty good at drilling things it's actually not bad at all honestly this is just like an upgrade to the bulldozers but yeah in terms of looks that one that one is definitely high up there next is definitely next to the drill containment unit probably we'll put it on top in terms of looks last but not least one of the strongest ones i believe that we can get our hands on of course like i said unless we missed a mod that has something even stronger that i just don't know of but we have this here the improved drill mount from the louis afk mod let's see it in action let me zoom out all the way to see this in action now i believe this thing look we have multiple options we can destroy tiles we can destroy walls uh let's just destroy both of them and let's see this baby in action oh my god so this as the name suggests is an upgraded drill mount pretty much or an improved drill mount an improved drill containment unit and it's just it's so powerful and it's very 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 cathartic is that is that a, is that the right word in this situation it's very fun to use and uh this definitely helps out a lot if you're a builder because look how much area i just cleared out I, just, I can make a whole new arena right here i can make a new setup for a future video right here but yeah i guess now let me go ahead set up an ore test that we can do and just see how strong they are all right so we got our little power test set up here and uh i got this little column of ores here to test specifically the jackhammer so let's put it to the test personally i don't think it's gonna get past titanium actually it might get past titanium i don't think it's gonna get past chlorophyte because i think you need 200 percent for chlorophyte but let us see maybe it'll surprise me let's see right here so far so good get into the palladium easy or a calcum no problem titanium no problem and the chlorophyte's where it stops now i want to see something here just in case you never know how uh modded stuff works with other modded stuff let's just see it broke the chaotic it broke the exodium it's breaking the eula it broke the arc huh 175 percent pickaxe power see that's good i tested it because like i said you never know how modded stuff works with other modded stuff all right next up the uh dragon drill here make sure we're in mining mode now shout out to the people that said that i should just use the cheat sheet thing and paint stuff thank you for telling me that completely something that flies over my head when i do videos like this but yeah if i break everything i can just replace it hopefully but yeah let's put it to the test here see how this baby works i'm assuming we're gonna be able to get through everything yep no problem the only problem is the chest which uh I don't know maybe we'll see something break the chest today i have no idea honestly all right let's test out the two bulldozers here i'm very interested to see how far these two go now we're just gonna test how far this one goes and then we'll switch to wherever this one stops but so far it's doing very good it's getting into titanium it's getting past chlorophyte oh it stopped there because of the water what an interesting reason to stop because of some water i'm thinking this thing might honestly be able to go past all of it let me just uh here let's let's do this give me some exodium and let me put the exodium up here and then let's see oh look at that we get past exodium too all right what about the auric ore and the yula bloom ore let's see okay again you know modded stuff combining with other modded stuff you know it seems to break things you could bypass some things using other mods on other content mods but yeah i'm not gonna test the other bulldozer because i'm assuming he's gonna do the same thing just a little bit faster oh look we didn't test the chest though let's test the chest i'm assuming maybe the bulldozer will just stop once we touch the chest i don't know we'll see oh yeah it did stop you know we will test the other one for this Okay, it, it tries its best. At least there's some effort by the noise. All right, next up we got the Onyx Excavator. This thing, I honestly have no idea how good it's going to do, but let's see. Let's see. Okay, okay. 
Oh, what the heck? It stopped right here. It stopped right here. Of course, the Calamity mount stops on the Calamity ores. Who would have thought the anti-fun mod does not want to have fun even in its, own, in its own mod? Who would have expected that? But yeah, I guess this is where this stops. Let's go ahead. Let's try it on the other side on the chest and see if that works at all. No, it does not. Okay. On to the next mount. Next up, we got the drill containment unit. No idea how this thing is going to work. How, how do I want to do this? Like this? Okay, yeah, we'll, we'll do it like this. We're slowly going up, though. <laughs> okay, whatever. I guess we'll do it from above. So it doesn't mind that. It stops at Exodium, as we can see here. And uh, let's see if it can break the chest. Of course not. This is a vanilla terry thing. Of course it won't break the chest. And last but not least, the improved drill mount. Now, does this thing break this right here, this floor? Oh, it doesn't break this floor? Or am I tripping? No way. Oh, I had it on the wrong thing. That's why. Okay. What about the? Oh, it does break this. Cause this floor right here is a very strong floor. You can't even break. Oh, you can't even break it with the uh, blossom pickaxe from Calamity. But yeah, let's put it to the test here. Let's see how strong it is against all these ores. No problem. It is eating these ores, but it does stop on the chest, which I'm very surprised. I honestly thought it was gonna break the chest. But yeah, thank you everybody for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If the video isn't long enough, you know, maybe I'll throw in that Q and A, a little couple Q and A questions here and there. Maybe that's how I'm just gonna do all the Q and A questions from the 200K special. We'll see. But yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll see you guys next time.